welcome back to RTS and welcome back to another Organize With Me video because in our last video, which was like an hour and a half long, wasn't that so much fun, is that I uh, created a travel themed binder and in that binder, I had put some of these simple stories from stickers that we're all buying and enjoying and loving. However, <laughs> I'm not using them as quick as I think I should be. And the reason is, is because they are basically just put together because of Simple Stories foam stickers. And I have them in a bin in my cube unit, but I never think to go get them because I don't think of foam and I don't think of this Simple Stories product because it's kind of new to me. So in my space, when I see that I am compiling things and I'm not using them, then I have to think, is it in the wrong place? Maybe I don't like the product or maybe I need to organize it differently. So this is something I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a binder of nothing but Simple Stories foam stickers. Now, this really isn't going to um, be that much of a big of a deal <laughs> because I'm just going to take them out of the uh, original packaging and you know just transform into something else and this is going to be on my shelf but it's going to be located in a place that I see more often so we shall see now I have a stack of these so what we're going to do is go through the stack of them and see which ones I would want to put in this binder because I don't I don't think I want to put them all in there because it's a stack so this one here is a extra set of the travel so as I said in the video, go ahead and put some supplies here, put some supplies there. Even though this is travel and I have a travel theme binder, I have two of these. So I'm going to split them up so I will see this actual product two times more because I'll see them in two different places. So here's the stack. I kid you not, it's a stack. It's a stack. Now there might be some chipboard in here. So yeah, look at that. And it's because I haven't used them. I did use this one. But I had to, um, I was thinking of this collection. So yeah, I need to, I just need to put this in a separate place. Now, if this makes you a little hairy and you're like, I don't know if I want to take it out of the packaging, then you could always keep your packaging if you take something out. But I have an adverse effect to uh, packaging. So I have no trouble throwing it away because if I was to take this out of the packaging, I'd probably just put in a six foot 12 uh, baggie like I do, um, my other foam thickers or stickers. So let's go through this pile and I'm gonna look for ones that maybe I have two of, which is this set, or something that's kind of generic that can be used on every page because I'm going to be thinking in my brain now, I have another whole supply. Even though I've had this for probably a couple years, in my brain it's gonna signify that I have a new product because I moved it and it's all in one area, not just all over the place. So this one here, this is uh, Weather Garden. And I do think these are a little pricey at $7. They were six, now they're seven. But what I do is I look and say, can I get them on more than one layout? Yes. And these are title ideas. So you kind of have to pay a little bit more for dimension and when you want these bigger fonts for titles. So, but I try to get this stuff on sale. $7 kind of makes me want to choke. That's a little expensive. That's half of a collection pack in my world. So uh, tangent. So this is generic. Now this is games, but I look at it. Um, this could be Disney. This could be amusement. See, this is generic. Even though this is called, what is it? Game day? Family fun. Uh, even though it says gang night um, together, no, I'm going to put this. And plus, then where else would I put this? I don't have a section in my space for amusement. I mean, for paper, but I'm talking embellishments. And this is dimensional. So I'm going to get. I'm gonna stick this one here, school. <sighs> the jury's out on that one. I'm not sure. See, this one is generic. This can be used. Oh, I have two of these. So, yeah, generic. Now, I have a collection of this. haven't really played with it yet. But if I put this in this binder, and then when I'm flipping through it, I will see this collection. So that's something else. It's another memory jogger. So I wish I had more than one of these. Mm. I was going to say, do I have two of those? No, <laughs> I'm wanting two of those. But those are, I mean, I just love those colors. Oh, is this not happiness in a sticker set? Love those colors. You know, you could build a collection. You could build a kit or a page kit just off of these uh, colors. You wouldn't even have to have anything to do with lemon. Love that. This generic, generic means I can use it for everything. Not that it's not um, special. It's meaning I can use it on a lot of different pages. Wedding. Now this says married. I know I have two of these, but 
See, beautiful, best day, always celebrate. I could use this for Disney, so generic farm. Oh my, farm. Ooh, let's put this to the side. Now, this one says birthday. But, to me, birthday and celebrating is Disney or traveling or trips. So, I'm going to put this in here. Oh, yes. Generic, 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 uh, generic. Look how many of these I have. Isn't that something? Okay, now we're getting into some fall stuff. I'm probably getting a serious glare. I hope you have your sunglasses on. Now, these are fall. Fall. Oh, here we have stickers. So, yeah, this is all fall stuff. So, I'm going to take this out of this group. And that goes into a whole nother... That's another whole theme, so I'm going to take that out of there. And what do we decide? Hmm. 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 Okay, so if I don't... Uh, school stuff, I'm, I'll do that another day. <laughs> yeah, because I have a series coming up. I have a challenge coming up. I have a page kit coming up. So I think I would just put this in a separate... Um, project in works yeah so that's not i'm not going to go in put that in here now this one what would you do this one is homegrown hmm and you know if you have some words that you get especially if they're individual letters and say this uh say you were gifted it and you're like i don't have no use for this farm so you know you could just take the letters and make your own word so you could use far or ram <laughs> yeah so just kind of mix up your letters maybe you like dodge ram trucks and you could do ram life yeah it doesn't have to do with farm so uh it's just one pack I i'll stick it in here now well i get all these in a binder that's the problem will these all fit i definitely know they're not going to fit in a one and a half binder one and a half inch binder yeah there's no there's no way would it? I mean, if I put it in half, oh, maybe. But what I did is I have been doing some other organizing in my home, in my life, and a lot of it is homeschool stuff. So I have like a two and a half inch binder. So this is just a leftover one. So I might have to resort to that one, which won't be a big deal because these are not heavy. So even if it's a bigger binder, this is all foam. It would be very lightweight. So what I'm going to do is start working. If you want to hang out with me, grab a cup of something and let's do some organizing. And I said I would just show how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to take some white cardstock. And how many packs is that? Well, here's one already done. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we shall see if we can get these in here. And then I was just going to say, I'm curious to see if I would use these quickers. I know they will. I know I will use them quicker because when you organize something, it's in the, it's in the front of your brain now. It's, in, it's called in your, what is it, front lobe? frontal lobe, something like that. And so you'll think of it sooner, but the fall in the school, yeah, I'm going to put that to the side. That's another day's issue. Let's see if we can do this. And, um, so what I'm going to do is take some paper and what did I say? 16. Let's see if I have 20. I have some done here and I'm going to cut this down to eight by 11 because these are dimensional and they have to fit in my page protector. So that's Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I have enough. I already have enough cut down. So what I was just doing is just taking an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Uh, I think there's two in here, <laughs> and I'm just cutting it down a half an inch. Uh, that way it's 8 by 11. That way it'll be easy to get in and out of the page protector. So let's put this to the side. So, you know, I'm left-handed. I do everything upside down. <laughs> Man, that is such a nice page protector. And I think those were from, what was the company? Sea line Didn't they used to make 12 by 12 or still make 12 by 12 page protectors? Where are they from? Oh, they've been in business since 1949. Wow, yeah, Sea Line. Sea Line Products. Illinois. Yeah, because I remember back in the day, I had some of their 12 by 12. So we're going to try to do 16 of these. 
and uh, we'll see how many fits in a binder. We shall see. I'm only going to put one per pack because I it's just easier. You know, when I'm organizing, I'm also thinking about how do I want to use that product and how will I put that project put that product away? Because that's half the battle is putting it away. The fun part's buying it, getting it, using it, playing with it. But the putting away part, yeah, you have to consider that. I mean, that's just something that, you know, you're taught in, whether you're talking about organizing a hobby or not. Just anything in life. If it's too much effort to put away, in the organizing world, they say it's because it's not in the right place or it's not in the right container. That's what they say. I, I agree with that. Now, I'm just having to open this up. And let's just see if I don't get a paper. Hopefully, I don't get a paper cut. <laughs> I'm already telling you, these page protectors aren't um, uh, getting a little bit of uh, chills. <laughs> the sound of it's giving me a little bit of, you know what? Ugh, yeah, it's like fingers across the chalkboard. I don't like that sound. So, has anyone else did this with this pro with this product? Product. What have you done with your foam stickers? This would be no different than foam thickers, but these are actually icons, and I consider these as title, not just as alphas. This is like embellishments to me. It's not alphas. Does anybody else think of that? I mean, you would almost have to think of that. These are, these are embellishments. I don't think of them as alphas. Titles and embellishments. So what have you done with them? Have you taken them out of the packaging? What did you put them in? Did you put them in a certain container? Did you find a certain container? I mean, just a simple six by 12 bin would work. Uh, but I don't like to see my, I don't like to see product. I like things in bins, baskets, bags, binders. I don't like to see my stuff. Uh, and it's funny how as um, crafters and scrapbookers, Everybody's different. There are some people who want, who have to see their product or you don't use it. For me, I don't want to see it. Not because I don't want to use it, but it dis it distracts me. Too much color distracts me, even though I like using color. I like dressing with color. I love colors, but I can't, I just don't. Like uh, some people have very bright, cheerful, happy scrapbook rooms. Yeah, I can't do that. My brain is all over the place. Oh, I'm sorry about that sound. I'm trying to get these apart. They are, they're stuck, they're stuck together. Am I getting to 16 yet? Because, man, it feels like 16. So tell me which side of the camp are you on? Do you like to see your product? Because you have to. Or are you like me that I, I, I absolutely cannot see the stuff. It just is, um, I'm already a high... Um, high level person anyways and then coming into a space where there's high energy colors well I'm be binging like a ball in a pinball machine yeah my brain can't settle down so that's why I, I it's not it's not a choice that's just what I have to do or are you somewhere in the middle where you have things put away but some things you want out and about and every so often I know with my desk if I get too many things sitting around too many dishes too many products I I, I just had to put some away because it's just too much Oh my. <laughs> Talk about static cling. But I do like these heavyweight page protectors. There's no way I grab the exact amount of page protectors according to the papers. I don't even know how many I had here. I guess I wasn't counting, was I? I was just. I was yapping. Oh well. I'll stick them in here. I got this far. Might as well finish them. Oh, I was one short. Isn't that? That is just, that is just crazy. So I'm just putting all this in here because uh, it's easier to do all this at one time. Um, batches, 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 batches. So uh, we have these all going in the right direction. So 
We shall see how many will fit. We'll do a trial run with the one and a half just to give a visual, but I guarantee you're not going to get a lot in there because they are, you know, they're dimensional. They're thick. I probably should have got a drink. <laughs> so am I going to put these in any order? No, because when I put them away, like if I get them out to use for with a, a layout or something, no, I'm not, I'm just going to, I'm just going to open these up and start. So let's do that in batches. So let's take all these out. And I'll just put all that stuff in the trash can. And I won't be keeping this either. Now, you know, there's a, mil a million other ways to do this. I'm just on the binder uh, thing. I love binders. I love how quick it is just to bring them back and forth to my space. And... But you simply could just, you know, put these in a bin and put them closer to your desk so you see them. The cube units in a uh, crafty space is great, but there's a downfall to uh, cube units because, you know, especially if you use the canvas bins, things are closed off, which is good for my brain. I don't see it. But then sometimes I have to go searching for things. So as I'm taking these all out of the packaging, that's probably too much noise for some people. Let's talk about, have you ever organized something and it didn't work out? I have done that in the past <laughs> a couple of times. I was just thinking the other day, I remember I went to do some washi tape and I had spent a whole afternoon and I think what I was doing is I was putting it in something in which it was going to be stacked. So you know what that meant. Whenever I wanted to get a washi roll, I was going to have to remove the whole stack. And so I basically got the whole way done. And then I visualized, how am I going to use this? And I thought, oh, this is not going to work. So I had to scrap that idea. Um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I'm sure there's been a couple of things that I organize and then it only lasted temporarily because organizing is one thing, using it is a whole different thing. And then of course, putting it away. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited just to open these. See, these were $4.99 at one time. That's $2 difference. Yikes. Of course, Name something that hasn't went up in price. Everything. Hubby had to get a quote on something that he had just had done last year. And the quote that he got this year was $700 difference. And so he said that to me. I said, are you sure they didn't mess up a decimal and it's only supposed to be 70? He said, no, $700 difference. I said, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a big difference from one year to the next. See, $6.99 for these. I'm not keeping any of that. I'm just and these are such the perfect size. Oh, let's get let's get a thing and measure them because they go into an eight and a half by eleven page protector. They are, yeah, eleven inches. <laughs> perfect. So if you think you may do this, let me know. I know I'm going to love it, even if I just keep it this way for a few months, even maybe just by the end of the year. And I've had to tell myself, just because I'm organizing it this way doesn't mean it's always going to stay that way. No. And that really has helped me uh, not invest a lot of money into an organizing product. Like, you know, $50 for a bin, $30 for a tray because I change things too much and it kind of left me off the hook a little bit. I'm like, yeah, don't spend a lot of money because it's not going to stay that way. And you know how I came to that conclusion in the planner world? It just seemed like every six months I was using a different planner. I was buying a different planner. Oh, it, the planner wasn't working. So then that's when I realized that, you know, for most of us, our lives change every six months or so. 
what whether you're a crafter or not just in general everybody's life changes um, maybe you um, have different hobbies you have different interests maybe you live a different place maybe you work a different place so I say that our life changes about every six months and it should because we're growing we're learning we're learning we're growing so one day it hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, no wonder these planners don't work after about six months because my life is changing. What worked six months ago, and this was just talking about planners, I was like, no wonder. Every six months I was having to get a different planner because I, I needed something different because my life was different. Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah, when you're organizing, don't put a ton of money in something because chances are you will probably change it, maybe within six months or maybe it'll last six years. So is anyone tired of hearing packaging? Not me, baby, because I love that stuff. <laughs> that means I got something new. So let's put all these in. Yeah, that's not going to fit in a one and a half inch binder. But this is so simplistic. I'm just going to take these now and stick them on a page protector. That's it. Look at that. Why do I love that so? Now, I'm not putting anything on the back. That way, it'll be easy. Uh, to get in and out and why am I not putting one on the front and one on the back because then I have to flip it <laughs> no I can see what I have it's a little quicker and I think it lays flatter does it lay flat I think it lays nicer when they're just side by side like that we'll see if it shifts too much in the binder so one done <laughs> yeah one done oh uh, yeah probably gonna get a glare oh who cares who cares who cares who cares so the 8 by 11 backer is basically just that. It's just a backer to keep this a little stable. And also it separates this color from this color in my binder. So liking that already. And I have two of these. So I will purposely... You could do this one of two ways when you have two of something and you're putting it in the same container. You could put it back to back so you know you have two if you want to use it. Or if you put it in two separate places in that container you know what that means that means you saw it twice yeah i think i will do that i'm all about seeing stuff more than once because we have so much and with all of these prices has anybody else uh said to yourself i am so thankful i have this stash i have because my shopping in the future if this continues it will not be like in the past there's no way Hmm. there's no way so I'm glad I have what I have because yeah things will not be like they were <laughs> you know it's almost like you think they did a good old days are they already gone I don't know we can't think like that no no but I will tell you that thought has crossed my mind some things are better than they were and some things are absolutely worse than the way they were I remember um, just talking not so long ago about um, to someone who said that they had went they relied on stores for their scrapbooking time because they would go to the crops or they would just go and hang out for the for the afternoon or something and so if that is primarily how and when you scrapped well where and when those stores are gone so that's a complete change in the process I think I'm going to put this one, this one that says hooray or party time. I'm trying to think of the ones that's, yeah, I think I'll put this one. Not that it matters because I want to put it away. But you know, like I said in that uh, travel themed binder video, you know, when you're first starting something, you want it to look all pretty and nice. But, you know, in reality, it doesn't stay that way. I'm just putting the one on top that I think I would use quicker. Because the one on the back, you may not see every word. But that doesn't bother me because I basically know what stuff is. I just want to get to it quickly. Let's see, I have two of these. So you could do this as, an, this as another option. So I have two of these. So I have to put both of these in the same one because it is the same one. So let's do that. Let's switch it up a little bit. Let's put, put, let's put both of these. Maybe that's what I'll do with the other one. This is another way to do it. Some of you probably already knew that. I'm just late to the game. So I can put the same thing. 
Oh, I think I may, I may go back and redo that one. And that way, doesn't that look good? So there's two of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and redo that one. I like that. See, there's, uh, I just put the same thing in there. Oh yeah, look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. Where's that other one? I'm gonna go back and redo that. <laughs> You know, don't you like it when a plan comes together? So let's take this one out. Yeah, I think so. This is a, a simple stories vintage lines are just hot diggity dog. <laughs> They're nice. Yeah, I'm putting them both in this. I like that. Plus it's a little easier to read. But I yeah, I really like that. Oh yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. But we did. So, uh, let's put this one here. You know what? Do you, I will try to see if they fit in the one inch binder just so you can get a visual. They may. I mean, honestly, they may. Oh my goodness. Is this not much more manageable? Look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Why did I not think of this a long time ago? I don't know. Okay. Which one has... Oh, country life, yeah. I'm putting this in front. And we're down to the last one. Now, I do have a couple more of these, but they are with collections I just got, like Safari Life and something else. So I'll just keep them. I, I do, just because uh, it's Simple Stories Foam, I'm not, I'm not putting them all this way. Uh, some collections that I just, you know, that I haven't played with yet, I keep them together. So that's what I'll do. I think I'll put this one. Yeah, I'll put this one first. See how quick that was? And then also when you do things in batches. And I'm not putting these in any order other than those ones that were um, back to back. Let's see how they shift. So when I put them in the binder, that may be a problem. We'll see how much shifting we get. I don't care. There was some that was the same. So those and those. So I'm gonna keep those together. And we will try the one and a half inch binder first. Uh, I don't think so, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a go. And I already have a sticker right here, if I can show it, that is going to be whatever binder I end up with and it's just a doily sticker and I put SS because I can't uh, I want something for easy reference when it's on my shelf that I know it's simple stories foam and I don't want to use a piece of foam because when you lay your binder flat it'll get smashed so I'm just using a sticker and I put SS for simple stories so that was like a second to do and we shall see this is the one and a half, which is my preferred size. And it may not be any sense trying. No, they are not. It's going to be too much. Uh, it's too much for the ring. Yeah, that's not going to work. So that was, what, 16 of them? Let's just do that. <laughs> Let's just, just so you can see. One, two, three, four. We'll do them four at a time. Again, things in batches. So that was four. Another four. Okay, so that's eight. And let's just put 12 in. Four times three is 12, right? Maybe I didn't have 16. Oh, and see, that's perfect. Oh, wait, maybe I can get these other ones in. Oh, where did that other one go? Maybe I'll be surprised. But, you know, I do have a couple more, so. Oh, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So I definitely could just keep it like that for now. Oh, yeah, and it's so lightweight because it's all foam. So, how many was that? Well, let's take this out. Oh, yeah, I can still get a few more in there. 
Oh wow, that is just, I was, I'm amazed. And let's go ahead and take this off. And I'll count how many that was, and I think, oh goodness gravy, I think what I'll do is I will keep this in this size, and then if I tend to outgrow it, when I go to put some other things away, you know, when you tear down page kits and you actually sit down to put things away, uh, maybe I will go ahead and uh, transfer to the, th the three inch, or what was that, two and a half? I don't really like that size, but I'll keep it. And then what I'll do is I'll put this right here, if it fits, and then I'll just probably glue that on a little bit because... It's not sticky anymore because I was playing around with it. And so then that'll just tell me that these are simple stories foam. I don't know. You want to go ahead and try? If you want to hang on, I'm going to try this other binder. Because, you know, it's already popping up. But we'll see. So there was one, two, three, four, five. Well, some of these are the same thing. Well, that's okay. I'm still going to use them as one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There was fifteen. Why did I say that there was sixteen? Maybe I'm missing one. Oh, this is why. Because I had this travel one. I forgot to put it in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this other binder. Just so we can see, I'm not completely happy with this. And if, if I know I'm going to have to grow, I might as well do it now. We shall see. So that was 16 of them. So let's try this. I think this is a two and a half inch binder. See, it's much, it's much bigger. So I have a feeling <laughs> that I may like this one a little bit better. Only because I'll have some room, room to grow. And this is a D-ring too. And I would say this is about two and a half inches. So if you are going to do this, oh, let me know. Send me a picture. RTS scrapbooking at yahoo.com. Send me a picture or post on Deborah's Facebook group if you're a part of that. putting all these back to back and I did like how when I had more than one I put I just put them together so there's the a side of the one and there's the B side of the other and you can see when you're flipping yeah they're gonna probably shift I don't care uh, I hopefully I'll be throwing this around left and right <laughs> who cares what it looks like I'll just be using it right and I took some pictures a couple weeks ago that this would be perfect for some cows and I'm going to put something that really excites me on the front. Which one's it going to be? I'll show you. I'll do it last, and you'll see which one it's going to be. It really, really is just excites me. See, that's already, I mean, that that's laying much nicer. Oh, isn't that pretty? Love that. Love that. I think I'm going to put this back. Not that it matters, <laughs> but I think I will... I think I'm going to move this. Something that where the colors look the same. Yeah, these colors all look the same. So kind of putting, again, not that it'll stay that way. But, you know, as we said in that uh, travel theme a binder video, that, you know, when you're setting up something, you can uh, take a few minutes and make it look pretty. And here's the one I'm going to put in the front. And I'll probably keep it in the front. And I will tell you, this might be a D-ring, but those... It doesn't flap back and forth as easy as those other ones. Those ones from Walmart, the pen and gear, those are nice. This is the one I'm going to put. Yeah, that lays much nicer. We'll see. Uh, pen and gear from Walmart. Yeah, those, those move really nice. This is the one I'm going to put in the front. Because I think that's so pretty. Oh yes, see that's much nicer, and it's not it's not heavy. It's not heavy because it's just foam, but I like the way that looks. Wow, 
to come back to RTS because you never know.